Fontanez here with Ryan Bader. Thanks for talking with MMAWeekly.com, and congratulations Thank on you. your victory tonight at UFC 139. Tell me, how's it feel to be victorious? It feels great, you know, coming off of two losses I haven't won this year, you know, and I have, haven't had that in a long time, even in, you know, in wrestling, you know, I've always, uh, you know, consistently won, and, you know, I'm a competitor, I want to win, you know, so it's been a rough year, so it feels good to go out there and get a decisive victory, so I guess a tough guy, you know, so. Decisive victory with a knockout, of course. What changed between the last fight, which obviously was a loss to Tito Ortiz, yeah. and now going in against Jason Brills? Uh, pretty much everything, you know. So I, two losses, I had to reevaluate everything. I went back to the drawing board. Um, as a gym, we did. Um, you know, got a new head coach, Tom Bond. Um, got a couple of new coaches, boxing coach, and stuck with the same, you know, Muay Thai coach and uh, Jiu Jitsu coach. But uh, bringing the head coach in to evaluate everything and run your training camps, make sure you're not overtraining, um, drilling, uh, you know, using as far as stand up what works for me and not just a general aspect of here's Muay Thai, go, go try it, you know. So it showed tonight. Right. Now, against Brills, clearly a first round finish is a great thing. Uh, was that part of the game plan going in? You were going to try to finish him early or were you looking to grind it out more? You know, I'm always looking to finish, but actually, you know, the first round we're. I, in the past, I've had a problem of going out there and throwing everything I have into every punch. And so, you know, you saw it this time, I was more methodical and just looking to touch him, you know, and uh, um, keeping my boxing tight. And it came, you know, and that was a game plan. We implemented it perfectly. Um, we, you know, we were prepared to wrestle with him, prepared to go to the ground, prepared to go off the cage, but it didn't get there. And, and you know, we hit the first uh, little part of the game plan perfectly. So I won't complain. <laughs> no room to complain there, right? <laughs> All right, so what, uh, when you saw him go down, what was your initial reaction? Did you say, you got to go in and finish this guy, or did you know he was out and you just said, got um, him Actually, you know, the ref was pretty good, and he was in there before I can even really get, get to him. But, you know, as a fighter, you go in there to finish the fight, and he was always standing between, and I was, you know, rearing up, but I saw he was out, so no need to hit him again. But, um, you know, the ref pushed us off and knew he was out, so felt good. Now, going forward, uh, you're back on the winning track. Where does Ryan Bader go from here? Just keep winning. That's all I want to do. I want to keep my head down, take fights, and win. And I, you know, I have no names to call out. I, I have nothing to say about that. I just want to go in there and, and, and win fights. What about the two previous losses? Is there any th thought in your head that you want to go back and maybe get a rematch with either of those guys, either John Jones, the champ, or Tito, Tito Ortiz? Yeah, sure. Later down, you know, down the road, I would love to. But you know, now I got to look for, towards the future and just just win whoever they want to put me in against. You know, so. Um, you always want to rematch your you know, losses, but we'll see what happens. Congratulations, right. Darth Bader. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking with MMAWeekly.com.